You know what I'm talking about right now, right? Yeah. See this one. There ain't no fat. No salt. Pee. Stop one mong tiết. Get the way I cut mong tiết. I mong pee. ពុនទាំងអាលជើងរបស់ណាតើយួនកលនោះដូចមានបាតជើងអញ្ចឹងមកមកប្រំបួនសាយសិបប្រំបួនណាវឥឡូវនឹងថ្ងៃរុចពេទ្យគេថាមកមើលជើងឆ្វេងអត់ទាន់ឃើញមកមើលទេតាំងវិយុ
chơi chơi ngon đấy đại 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 ແລະອາສະຕີເວສໝາກຫມອງໃສ່ໃດຈອນນັ້ນ <coughs> 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 ใช่ได้กัดอัตราคอจึงเปียกกาได้ตอนละครั้งอันลึกนึงติดไปมาไปมาบัดใดดีนะคะบ่นะบ่นนะเออเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเ
One of these is from Japan? The one on the sofa. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. This is uh, fourth year in Japan. First time he come back for 10 days. Oh yeah, they put a lot. Ah. Okay. Oof. Oh yeah, they're sure? like sharp. Ah, yeah. Would it hurt? Yeah, uh, back there feel like something cut back there. Yeah, yeah, back there. Oh, it's just raw meat back there. Uh, yeah. That's probably what you're feeling. This yeah. part touched yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oof. I'm sorry. Ah, go ahead. Can I go a little? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I think that one's gonna work, but I don't want to use something sharp on it. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. I think I need a liquor. <laughs> My work, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that. Yeah, that's where I work. I used to do that. Buy a lottery ticket anyway. Mm. Was was that power ball about four hundred million now? Oh my! Ah. <laughs> I think you would go around <laughs> yeah around like that one. Yeah. I'm go around. Thank you. I probably need a lot as you know, later on clean. Sixteen, twenty-three, sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> there, we might just okay. do one. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, that's what it, yeah it's good enough. Yeah. As long as it's not too tight, because that's yeah. too tight. Is no good. Does it feel too tight? No, that's good enough. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Mà đây bạn buồn ngay ngay này hả? Lâu đây phải buồn Có chút chìm Áo ơi! Áo! Sưu khoang Ok Put one at a time Put one at a time Ôi oh, chì Nằm quán thật áo nhỉ? Ôi It is just you can't appreciate it till you actually till you see it. We want to go to Yellowstone, but that's you know, that's what we did. Yeah, we, we didn't have any good get a chance to see yeah. nothing what happened that's our next it, it's, adventure. It's worth it's worth the trip. It, it's really you know, and you were talking about Switzerland. The mountains aren't quite as big as Switzerland, I don't <laughs> think, but but they're still it's still pretty amazing. Yeah, I went to uh, Paris, Eiffel Tower, all that wall around there. Yeah, I've yeah. never been. Any of that stuff. Yeah. You know that You're far more traveled than I. <laughs> yeah. Be careful, they, they, A lot of thieves. Daylight yeah. too. Does that right? <laughs> no matter where I put this. Yeah, hold that position. It's perfect. Great, almost done. I could shake you now. We're almost there. You're actually holding real well. Good, you can relax. <clears throat> All right, another scan. That's a lot of work. So you can you can kind of see it shows up better my soul. You can kind of see those dots on there. And they give me some. Yeah. Right there. You just get the right kind of shape. Or... Yeah, this is what I call it. This is a what's going to be a base scan. So this is 
this is essentially one that I'm going to have for oops, one that I'm going to have as a reference for later on. Yeah. So I'll be able to tell. I'll be able to tell. Um, I got it. Got it? Yeah, I'm a video guy. <laughs> You're a video guy? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're good. I, I'm a little out here. For what I need this for, it's fine. Yeah. We're a little yeah, bit. Uh, yeah. That's where he moved a little bit and yeah. shifted, but it's, it's not. It's fine. For what we're doing. So that's why I love lying in that classroom. We call it 3D model. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me think about this for a second. Let me see if I have a size 26 liner here. 26. Because I thought, I thought this was probably going to be good, but this is going to be snug. And it, I don't know if, actually, I'll put this on here and I'll show you. Um, with where the seal is going to sit, sometimes you get a little bit of redness there just because okay. it generally fits a touch tighter in that area. Because okay. you think about, we want this thing to fit snug on your leg. Uh, so how far the seal gonna be at around here somewhere? Uh, I'm gonna try to get it as high as I can. Uh, so let's see if your trim lines are gonna be about there. Mm -hmm. Then the seal is probably gonna be about from uh, here down. Okay. So okay. a good a good amount of your leg. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you know I'm gonna try to make it so it's tight everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so if you need to move the seal up or down for some reason, if, okay. if if one day it doesn't feel like it's sealing as well, we can shift it. Okay. And see if it seals better there. Um, the thing with you though is I'm gonna give you sh short socks and then we're probably gonna cut the tops off some socks so that way, you know, the challenge with these is when your leg shrinks, mm -hmm. that seal has to be pushed against the sides really well. Okay. And if it's not, you can lose suction. So I wanna basically accommodate any size you lose down here, any size you lose up here. So that way we'll just basically split the socks. Okay. So you, they don't go across the seal, they go up above and below. But yeah, I think I do think I'll try that next liner size down on you, but it'll work for today. Bend your knee for me. Keep going. Bend, 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 bend. Yeah, yeah, it's a little soft, but it'll work. Okay, cool. All right, straight. All right. Scooch that up a bit. I mean, you gotta make like like a uh, five ply smaller. I'm gonna try to make it tight, but since mm -hmm. we're gonna use the vacuum, yeah. um, I don't want to make it so tight that you can't get in. Okay. Yeah, cause I I, I do want to make it snug for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like it really tight, and then I know you're also probably gonna shrink. Yeah. No matter we, what. Yeah, because it's, when it shrinks so hard, it's on my knee cap. Yeah. It's, and it's hard to deal with it. Yeah, speaking of which, go ahead and bend your knee. Good, and straighten. Bend again. And straighten again. Okay, so you're more prominent when you're straight. Yeah, I brought it around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's right right there. Yes. Um, basically, I think when I do the first stage, I'm just going to kind of okay. leave it high so I don't capture that bone. Okay. So I can get it in the second stage. Okay. That, that's going to be what, around what, at least two ply in there, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, when, when I pour this 
up with plaster, I leave the sock in there yeah. so that way it kind of yeah, but take the elim yeah the eliminates whatever volume it would yeah. add. Yeah. It's not too tight up there? No. Still looking? Okay. Make sure it's snowy. Yeah, last time it was leaking from here too. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, and, and the hose I have, the connection isn't as good as I want it, so okay. we're gonna, there'll be a little bit of play, but we'll, we'll make it work. Bend for me? Uh, bend down, yeah. Straighten. And bend a little. There you go. Bend for me. Keep bending. Keep bending. All right, and straighten back up. Okay. All right, bend again. And straighten back up. We've never had problems over here, to my knowledge. No, yeah. no, okay. no. We've just had problems right here. Yeah, just right yeah. here. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it moves very much, yeah. so I think we'll be okay. I think when I do this, I'm gonna try to be really careful about squeezing this way because okay. I don't want that bone to move. I want to squeeze here, okay. basically here around to right about there. Yeah, because the bone down there. Yeah. 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 Big time. Uh, I think like <clears throat> two days ago, mm -hmm. somehow it's swollen, it's hurt, I don't know. And then later on, it stopped hurt right here. Really? Yeah, I don't know. The, that skin is broken a little bit. Oh, uh, it is? Yeah. Uh, um, just a touch on the, ve like right where that um, uh, the adhered tissue is, uh, that uh, scar. Okay. And so that might be part of the reason. Yeah, just you know, knees form, keep it clean. For sure. Yeah. I wash three times a day. Really? Yeah. Sometimes I, I need to take it out, I wash it real quick, yeah. then put the liner back on. Hot water. Yeah, hot water. Yeah, the container. That's all. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. And give me just a second. Okay. Oh, ninety degrees. I'll bend it down to ninety degrees. Yeah, go. There you go. I feel like I accidentally wear my black scrubs. <laughs> so I, was, I, guess, I think I did last time. I, I think I said you Yes, yes. No, I said the exact same thing, yeah. yeah.
this time, I'm not going to bend you all the way to 90 degrees when I do this. Okay. Uh, we're going to go a little less just because since we don't have that knee sleeve over it, okay. you'll have a touch more play around your knee. Okay. Um, again, just because we don't have as much of your leg within that suction seal since the seal will be lower. Okay. So I don't have to worry quite as much about this pushing it. I mean, we'll check it when we wear it, but I don't have to worry about your combiles getting pushed as much when you're flexing your knee. Oh, yeah, so go for it. Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. yeah. So people scuba with them. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. I have one. I never use mine. Why not? I always forget that. <laughs> well, I wanted to, you know, after I had the baby, I wanted to start using it to, yeah. you know. Yeah, keep them mumbling. Exactly. I have a lot of videos on my phone, but yeah. it's not going to be as good quality here. A uh, certain phone, you, if you have an iPhone, they have a limit gigabyte in there. Yeah. yeah. If, if it's got Samsung, you can add a terabyte in there. Just like go for it. Yeah. Before so I use yeah. yeah, I have Samsung. Before I just have iPhone, 250 gigs, 56 gigs, I took 4K video for less than 10 hours Jeez. after that. Jeez. How how uh, big is your SIM card in there? Uh, this one is yeah. this one is two hundred and fifty six. Okay. I take a two point seven K. It's not four K. Yeah. But it's better than ten eighty p. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yes. And plus, this one have a stabilizer. Do they really? Yeah. Is it internal? Yes, internal. Oh, I don't know. That. Uh, from GoPro Seven and up, yeah, they have stabilizer. I have um, what the four, the five? No, it, it's it's one of the, like the it's, it doesn't have a number. It's one of like the side variations they did. It's it's a really it's tiny oh, tiny okay. box. I can't okay. remember what it's called though. Mm, but this is this only good for you have light a lot of light. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. Like at at night, at night video, mm -hmm. uh, it's not that good. Really? Yes. Is it just GoPros in general, or this particular one? GoPro general. Okay. Yes, any action camera. It doesn't take a good night. Yeah. Like video. Makes sense. Yeah. Because the amateur, I think like two point eight amateur, you need a like one point four or one point. Two mm -hmm. to get a low light. Hmm. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah, you see all of the, all the professional uh, camera, mm -hmm. like they do a cinema. Like, I think like point point nine five amateur. That's very good low light. Only candle light, you can see it clearly. Really? Yes. Have you seen? Oh uh, man, have you seen that new documentary on Netflix? Um, Earth at night, or night on Earth. No, no. no. It, I, I don't know what technology they're using, but they show you know, the the episode I saw. I guess they're in Africa, and they're looking over this field, and it's pitch black. I mean, you can see the silhouette of a tree yeah. against the night sky, and that's yeah. it. And then whatever they do, they just crank up the exposure, and you see everything as though it's day. Uh, most people, they take a movie, they don't crank up exposure. Is, is it exposure that you do? Uh, what is it uh, amateur. Oh, that's what it's called? Yes, amateur. Make it, oh, 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 yeah, yes, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the exposure make it bright, and sometimes it's too bright, and then you make the picture broke it up. Yeah. Yes, and you're like, the quality is not that quality. It broke it up. 
Yes. Then the aperture get all the even low light. Yeah. Get all the light in. Huh. Yes, bigger sensor. Oh, it's a lot of it's a lot of thing about camera. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sure that there's a whole world out there. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right, I think that's almost pretty well set. Two point eight lens. If you're looking for a two point eight lens, if on a Sony from seventy millimeter to two hundred, mm -hmm. probably three grand. <laughs> yeah. Just the lens. Yeah, because of the amateur, it's, it's a two point eight m amateur. Huh. Yeah, it's very pricey. Yeah. I know. I have a, I have a friend. She's been a photographer for years. Oh yes, if she, she, she knows. I mean, she has dished out so much money. Yes. Okay. She's yeah. Yeah. She she was like, yeah. See this lens? Yeah. It's like it costs a year of tuition or something like yeah, that. Yeah. 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 If she's a photographer, yes. Yeah, yeah. She knows what yeah. she's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it because you know I've I've helped her out and had to like hold the bag. I'm yeah. terrified just to oh, hold the bag. It's very it's, heavy too. The lens. Oh yeah. Yes, I got a couple of lenses too. Got some girth and weight. Oh yes. Yeah. All right. So this is a little different from what I usually do, just because this I don't I don't typically wrap them around the spiral. I usually wrap them to about here, okay. the ears, and then I wrap it around more. Okay. Just just because I I want to keep that dimension. So uh -huh. yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. I'm in debate because I I don't want to put. A force on your leg that's gonna make your your bone down here wiggle. Yeah. Uh because -huh. if I do that, I feel like it, it it's gonna cause you more irritation. Uh -huh. Um. Wrap it to there, I guess. But I can just do it. I'll just make sure I don't touch the mods. I'll go almost all the way there, and uh -huh. then in that area I won't mess with any modifications. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. okay. See, like most people, they use a, a, a mirrorless camera to take a video, not a video camera to take a video. You know that, right? Yeah. No. A, a mirrorless camera? Yeah, just like DSR camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, a Sony, they have a mirrorless camera. It's no buffering. Huh. Yes. And a DS, DSLR... You're getting it's, it's, way over my head now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, most of people they they tell you professional video. Uh -huh. They use a uh, DSLR. Yeah, that's, yes. I'm, I'm dipping my toes into something I have no idea about now. Yeah, very pricey all those shit. I believe that, hundred percent. Hell, keep that there for a second. So you got a long leg. You, gotta, you, gotta get a lot you know, it's just a camera itself. The most pricey one, just the DSR itself, costs over $10,000. <laughs> yeah. And the you get the camera uh, body, then you gotta buy a lens. The lens costs more than the camera bodies. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's, I mean, I feel like your amateur, you know, hobby photographers. You gotta either come up with a really good story to yeah. to justify that, or yeah. you better be looking for a job, I guess. Yeah, so or you just buy a GoPro, just take pretty good. And then the newer camera is pretty good, really good too, <laughs> like the iPhone X Pro. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. take good video camera. Yeah, I know that those images look amazing. Right? There's nothing. A bit too much for my wallet right now. Okay. Yeah. Just doing that so I can align these up and make sure it's a good length. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, so we're at Bend your knee a little bit and straighten. Bend on touch. Okay, that's good there.
challenge is this stuff shrinks and it gets wet. Yeah. One direction. Shimon sh sake. Say what? <laughs> Shimon flex. No, so flex. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so sake. Yeah, big time. All right. Very flimsy. Yeah. I think we'll have enough there, though. I want to get it almost to the end of this tibia, and your tibia is about right there. So mm -hmm. I think that'll, that'll do the trick. If these layers don't overlap well, though, it kind of starts to teeter. Mm -hmm. And so it, it throws the cast off a little bit. But it looks like I think we got enough there. Not just for good measure. We'll reinforce it. Yeah, whoever invented that casting is make good money. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah his name's uh, Carl Caspers. Yeah. yeah, it's it's all those casting right there, all them. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's funny. I think. I mean, I by far think this is the best technique. And some, yeah. you know, some people though they do pressure cast. Some people scan. Yeah. Uh, but I think I think this catches catches your bones. Yeah. As yeah. you're moving, like our catches your bones when they're most prominent yeah i guess is the best way to put it yeah the scanning it doesn't work that good I, i'm not a fan of scanning yeah but because i have one scan that's why yeah yeah, no, I, <laughs> yeah. I remember that yeah yeah I, again I, so big and bulky yeah they've yeah. they've tried to convert me but i'm, I'm resistant all right yeah you know, just hold your leg there and then a mash on it okay and uh just try to make sure it doesn't bend The trick with these systems, I can't do too intensive contours because mm -hmm. if I do, that seal will want to bridge the okay. gap and so it won't seal as well. So, but I want to make sure we keep you off this bone because it's pretty prominent. So we might, there might be a little uh, manipulating in play in the future once we make the socket. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll make sure it's going to work. And it's always good to use those other sleeves as backup, just in oh, case, okay. like you, if you go hiking and okay. keep it in your backpack, just one, yeah. in case you lose volume. So that way, um, yeah. you know, if, if you need extra support, you can get extra support. But yeah, the guy in this, Carl Caspers, he, he's kind of one of the guys who really accelerated the vacuum technology, mm -hmm. which is what we're going to use on you. So basically pulling the air out mm -hmm. so it sits and seals really well on your leg. The prosthesis does. And it helps just with control. Mm -hmm. I think I think you'll like it a lot. Now that your leg's a little bit smaller, more stable. Yeah, it's way, way small. Yeah, I think if we tried to do this before, mm -hmm. you, <laughs> with your leg and how much has changed, that mm -hmm. your leg would just would have been falling off constantly. So. The bone is like right smack dab on the bottom. I think it's beneficial to have some. Can I like feel that. it? Yeah, of course. You might not be able to feel the difference because it's it's. Oh subtle. yeah, they stick. Yeah. Really thick. Yeah. So this one is actually thicker than that one. So if you squeeze it like that, oh, and okay. squeeze them like that, you feel that one's a bit thicker. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, he don't use a lot of those. What you call that pad at the bottom? Yeah. No, I always hope you have a clearance on the bottom. Man. <laughs> so. Um, so this is the smaller one, you can try it on. I know we said we were gonna try it regardless. Yeah. Um, try this on, and I'll be right back. Okay. And then, I don't know why the light is dim. Dim, yeah, hopefully it kicks on in a second. 
but I'll be back in just a moment. Oh wow, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's so small. It's not so bad. 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 It's Oh, that's silicone dust. Oh, really? it, it's oh. just from when you get them new from the manufacturer. This hasn't been used yet. But. Oh, I thought it's like slippery, but this one might like, grind it. Yeah, it's a little grip. <laughs> no, all grips, yeah. It shouldn't have been like I, it's brand. I'm gonna wash it because it looks. Yeah, good. yeah. yeah it should grip. just be silicone. You wanna double check this one too, honey? Yeah, well, this <laughs> one, this one I know is. Well, I just washed it, so if it's dirty, I'll be surprised. <laughs> but God, now I'm embarrassed. So let me, let me check. Yeah, that, that one I think like, oh. You'll probably get some arm hair. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, okay. So that's the one we'd use last yeah, that time. Happens, yeah. So go ahead and put that on so that way we can have a good comparison. And I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Uh -oh. crooked this way. It follows your, your bone and so it might look a little odd but mm -hmm. it, it matches up with the anatomy from when I took your cast. So yeah, we need to change it we can. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? What is that uh, plastic? It's uh, um it's called buyback. Buyback. Yeah. Is that help squeezing the the bone, the skin? The plastic? Yes. Um, the reason we use that That's is because bowl. it's we can heat it up and adjust it if we need to. Oh, okay. And uh, and it's just because it's see through. So. Yeah, it feels pretty good. This one. Are you all the way in the bottom? No. Okay, good. <laughs> it look hurt. Uh, it's about an inch. That's good. Yeah. Because I know once you stand up, you're gonna be putting more pressure on. Yeah. It. Yeah. Give me just a second. Gosh. Some of that silicone sticks yeah. so well. Yeah. yeah, this one way smaller than this one now. Yeah. <laughs> way smaller. Yeah, you're you're shrinking pretty quick. Yeah. Um and you know that's something we'll we'll keep an eye on too. So the difference between this slider, if you can get it on and that is um, other than the size, this will firm your tissue up more. Okay. So that might actually it might feel tighter with this. Okay. But because your your tissue will be harder because right. it'll squeeze it tighter, and so we'll we'll see how it feels then. Golly day! Yeah, when I took it out, I said, "Whoa, you might have sand in there." Yeah. Oh. It's really weird. Wow, this feels pretty nice. Yeah, I. When I made this one, mm -hmm. um, I, I kept, here, I'll move that. I kept the bone, your mm -hmm. fibula bone yeah. on this side. Mm -hmm. I didn't tighten that up at all. I okay. left it long and on the inside, I raised it up a little okay. bit so you'd get more pressure over here than over here. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah because now I don't feel any pressure at all. Yeah, and then I have to change these trim lines a bit. Yeah. All right, hang on. You can just, I, this is a little slick. I need to, I need to work on this stand. All right, push again. Good. And try to just bend and, and shake around in there and see if that bone hurts at all at the bottom. Okay. I don't, I don't feel it. I'll take that. Yeah, I don't feel it. All right. I mean, you must do some magic on that thing. I, I tried to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel it. Okay, good. That's nice and tight up here, yeah. too. Yeah, huh? not like the last one. Last one, I can feel sharp pain down there, but now yeah. I don't. Yeah. Okay. All right, hit pause for me and put some pressure in it. I'm gonna open that up a little bit because that's hitting your kneecap. That looks good. Hang on. 
Sweet. That's good. All right, let me, so I'll clean that liner really well and scrub whatever the heck is in there. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll try this on again. Um, and then I'm gonna get a seal and I'm gonna try pumping the air out so we can feel what the vacuum's gonna feel like. Okay. And uh, we'll see where we're at, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead and lift up. Oops. Oops. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something on this too so it's not slick. So you can have a seat. I don't even do the rest because. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Feels good? Okay. Yeah, my countertop. Yeah, very tight. Yeah. <laughs> um, again, it, we'll, we'll check and see. The, the padding is just a little thinner on this. And so if it feels pretty close, then I'll, I'll be okay with it. Okay. But, all right. Um, and then in a second. We'll put some rings on to actually get the seal. If you want to go ahead and come over here, though. Let's see. All right. So let's see if it feels any different with this liner. No, this not going anymore. Lift up. Push down. Do that little kind of up. Push down. This bottom up? Uh, you're not quite touching the bottom everywhere. Yeah, but again, you know, that, that might be because if it's slightly thinner, okay. that little bit of gap is why you're not touching it. Does it feel good though, still? Yeah. Still support. Well, that's yeah. good. All right, tell you what, um, put some weight on it, do your movement, and let's make sure it feels good. Obviously, it's not as crazy movements as you'll have when you're um, walking, but yeah. you know it's something. Okay. Yeah, about this one. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, it could, it could go down at least a little bit more. Yeah, we'll, we would do that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave the trim lines there for now, and yeah. then once we get your liner yeah. that's this size, um, I'll try it out. All right, what we're gonna do is put this on, and so oh, yeah, it's tight. When you put these on. These rings mm -hmm. um, basically provide the seal, and so as you pull this up, you want it pretty even. Okay. It's, uh, and you want to pull with this fabric as well. Oh, just like a uh, shrinker. Yeah. Yeah, probably about as tough as the shrinker. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna pull it up, not all the way on your leg, but pretty high. So it's pretty snug. I got, this one is a tighter fit for sure, but I want to see how it's going to do. On your leg. Oh, that's it, just a seal right there. Yep. It'll probably take a second more to get in, so you have to pick up and push a few times. Yeah, there you go. What's that? Yeah. Wow, suck really tight. On the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Lift up again. Is it uncomfortable? When you lift up? Yeah, I'll lift up. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It, it feel, I think it feels normal. Okay. All right, that's what I want to check. So basically what I want to do is make sure that when we have vacuum going, which is why I'm a little upset, I don't have the, the liner that's a little thicker at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to make sure that it's going to feel good when you have vacuum applied to the system because it's going to give you more control okay. and it's going to stabilize your volume. But if it doesn't fit right, then it's going to be uncomfortable. So again, since this is a little thinner, when we have the right liner, it'll, it'll definitely improve. Put some weight into it. There you go. And I'm going to pump the air out, okay? Do you feel any change with that? No. No? Okay, it's not holding very well out there. So. Yeah, it's it's cause right here. I uh, I didn't have the part I wanted, so we we used an alternative one, and I don't like the alternative. All right, pick up. You feel a hard suction at the bottom? Yeah, 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 yeah. Since yeah, I put pressure down like that, it's okay. Yeah. So that's that's negative pressure. Okay. So let me take this out real quick. Um. So. And this is what we need to talk about regardless of vacuum. With vacuum, if you push into the socket, it's positive pressure. So basically, you're putting too much pressure. Mm -hmm. um, 
but if you lift up or you bend your knee and you feel pressure, it's called negative pressures. Yeah. So basically what's happened is your brain can't differentiate between yeah, the two, yeah. right? And so um, if you're pushing and it hurts or you're lifting up and it hurts, you treat that two different ways. Mm -hmm. If you lift up and it hurts, basically you have either too many socks on or there's too much space at the bottom. And so because this liner is thinner, I'm assuming that it's because we have too much space in the you know, bottom. Too much space yeah. in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's so what, yeah. one we might try is putting on that other liner in a minute. Okay. But um uh, but yeah, I think I think once we get the other one that'll resolve. Yeah. In any case, we're gonna you know, we're gonna make sure we, we resolve that before you get the final version. Okay. Um let me see. It's probably hard to take it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so when, when I make this too, I'm gonna have a, a release valve, so it'll be yeah. easier to get on and off. I mean, other than that, I mean, it looks pretty good. Yeah, but just need yeah. this go down a little bit. Yeah, yeah just below the. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna bring it out just a touch because it feels yeah. like the bottom of your kneecap is right on that line. Yeah. So it's just it's just putting yeah. pressure there. Yeah, because yeah. my kneecap a little bit below that. Right? See that sense again? Yeah. Yeah. And you feel like it's underneath that tremor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I have a thirty on you, and that looks pretty damn good. I'm just making sure it's not wrinkling anywhere. All right. Just again. Yeah, that actually looks great. All right, let's, um, how much time we got? What I want to do is change this piece because they came in the mail this morning. And so I actually want to change it up and see if I can get it to work better. Um, yeah, my wife, she got to go to it. All right. Oh yeah, I can see it doing that right now. Yeah. You feel it already? Yeah. You do? So if you pick up, you feel it more, it hurts more? Yeah, then my distance head more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's sit in my seat. It's what it takes, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe this one is yeah. open, was open too much. I think, yeah, yeah I think that one's mm -hmm. pushing you back. Yeah, maybe close this one a little bit, leave the back alone so this bone don't hit. What I think I'm going to do is let's, let's put this on as well. And um, it's alright, it's not perfect. Let's try that. Because what's happened is you got just a little bit of space in there. Yeah, I can see it now. All right. Let's see. No discomfort in the bottom back? No. Okay. All right. Yeah, I kind of feel pulled a little bit now. Where? Still yeah, same area? Yeah, yeah. That's wild. All right. So if you pick up and bend, you feel it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Any better or worse? Mm, a little bit better. Okay. All right. I think I think I just need to tighten this area. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just tight this, not back here. Yeah. Back here, just a little long, just tight this. I'll probably tighten everywhere, and then I'm going to tighten where that thing's at, and then... No, because you want to leave the, my bone here. Relax a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, uh, basically, like just everywhere except for the ball. Oh, okay. So, basically, through here and through yeah. the side, but not right, right there. Yeah. yeah. I got it. Don't worry. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Um, yeah, so, we're not, it's not wrapped right now, but what we're going to do is just go ahead and check the basic alignment um, and, and just kind of see how our initial alignment looks. Yeah, I know the height is a little off, but I want to go ahead and check it. Uh, Basically, how much pressure on you? Yeah, just like that, right? You say what? The sucking pressure. You feel it already? Uh, when I push like that, yes, it's always sucking already. Okay. So yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it uncomfortable at all? No, it's good. Okay. All right, go ahead and uh. Well, are you gonna feel like that all the time? Um. Well, I want it to be comfortable all the time. Yeah, so so click right here. Where you feel it? Uh, okay, now I don't feel it. Before I feel a little bit, click, click. Okay. Right, and then smooth that out. Let me just make a little mark right in here. Okay. It might just be like a transitional thing. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and, and just walk back and forth. Wow, I just want to feel a little bit sh a lot, a lot shorter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's definitely short. Yeah. And that should improve. All right, that's okay. You hear? Yeah. 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 Oh. You say you feel that somewhere? I feel like the suction uh -huh. flick back and forth. 
constantly drawing air to a point mm -hmm. but um but right now since it's not hooked up to anything mm -hmm. what it is is the diaphragm so when you take a step the diaphragm pulls and mm -hmm. so it's it pulling on it and you hear because it's, it's trying to pull air out and that's all you're hearing but it'll it would go away uh, so that's all I'm gonna do I uh yeah it's probably hard to tell but you have more than you think right now okay yeah now could you feel it pushing as you walked like pushing Go ahead and try to take larger steps. Actually, since it's so short, you might not be able to tell. <laughs> yeah, that, it'll go away, trust me, trust me. Uh, actually, I'm pretty good, but I need to go one more hike. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and check that hike. So, here, I'm just gonna use magazines because I couldn't find my boards. What is for recording? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna try, I don't have an eight. Hmm. Let's see, where's that? Closer or still off? Yeah, this one's close. It's close. All right, lift up. Let's try a quarter. No. That one's close. Yeah, that one's close. Yeah, one close. Let me see. Let me see which one's thicker. Oh, this thing. That's pretty, that's it, you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me, I'm going to raise it up, uh, that little amount, and then, um, and then I think, again, I think what I'm gonna do, man, that's such a tricky area. Take it, let's just sit down and take it off and let me, let me look at that spot. Okay, so when you take it off, you're gonna have to disengage the valve. Yeah. And then it'll slide off. It comes off a little easier. Yeah. So let's, let's take everything off. Um, let me just do that. When I feel for it right here, see it? When it's right here. Oh, so you feel it right there? Yeah, right here. here. So it's not, it's not over here? No, it's right here, here, right here. Right there, yeah, okay. It's, it's sucking right here. Because I think I need more pad pad in here. Yeah, so I have I have this relieved for Yeah, yeah, I know about right here. It's right here. Mm. Yeah, I think I need a maybe pad, pad put in here. Yeah, well, yeah, what I would do is basically dig in a little bit on the socket. Yeah. But there was some extra gapping over here yeah. as well. Yeah, right here. It's okay. Yeah. I need to close it yeah. out a little bit. You know what? What you need is a custom liner. That would help so much, but the only issue is anytime we yeah exactly. Well, the one they used from Willowwood, it um yeah. See, that's the thing. They don't do custom liners. If they did, we'd be gold. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, the Willowwood ones, I don't like them, but the Autobock ones, I like them more. But I'm, I'm just afraid your skin would ir be irritated with that too. This looks better. I don't see a lot of redness here, but I do. I do see what you're saying there. Yeah, right here. When 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 I Pick it up. Yeah. When I bend, the mm -hmm. pressure. Yeah, it's right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because everything's so high above. Yeah. Maybe just pick one small. Yeah, I think I think I just I know what I want to do. I just need to do it and try it. Um, we'll definitely we're definitely gonna do one more socket iteration because I want to make sure this thing's gonna be golden. But for right now, I'm gonna change the trim lines just a little bit and. Yeah, maybe um, you pulled this one down a little bit. I already did. Oh, you did this one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but you couldn't tell. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, give me just a minute, and um, we're gonna try this one more time with the height a little higher. Okay, then put this did did the walk feel easier? Yeah, the walk way easier than yeah. before. Yeah. The out of foot, out of foot. Yeah, I think um, I do think too. What I'm gonna do is basically move your foot forward a little bit. Um, forward. Yeah. So basically, imagine this as a wooden plank. Right now, when you're rolling over the toe, you don't get a lot of action. Mm -hmm. And you step on it, it's really smooth, but if we move that foot forward, you're increasing the carbon length this way, so you basically get more spring. It looks good, but we might be able to make it a little bit better. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. I'll give you that as well. Um, I'll be back in a few minutes. Everything looks good. Okay. Right, let me actually before we put this on, let me get a picture of your legs so um, I can get an idea of where we're starting out. Oh, man. man, this little uh, no this little spot. Did you see? Have you seen it? It's uh, the skin uh, breaking. No, no, because this one's like hot spot. Mm -hmm. So last night, you know, I shaved it off a little bit. Uh, yeah. yeah, you try to grind down the cast. Yeah, yeah, because it's so hot. Yeah, yeah, hot like stone. Yeah, that's why I shave it off a little okay. bit. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was just making sure it's yeah, yeah. that and not from No, 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 no. Okay. that's why I shaved it off last night. Okay. Um, so, uh, we'll give it a second to stop okay. being red and I'll get my okay. phone and take a picture. Okay. Um, when I made this one, there is, I tried to basically remove where that spot was. So mm -hmm. it is pushing just a little bit more in here. Okay. So you won't feel that vacuum. Okay. But regardless, I'm going to give you some of those silicone spots. Okay. And I'll kind of show you how to use them okay. so we can. Um, wow. Way smaller than this. Right? Yeah. Oh man. It's, it's a little thinner. <laughs> Look at that. Way smaller. That's that's what's happening with you, man. Yeah. Here, tell you what. While I go get my phone, uh -huh. do you want to go ahead and take your shoe off? Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we'll put it on here in just a moment. And then I'm, I'm gonna put this little piece back on. It's just a booger to fit, so I want to make sure everything looks good before uh, we do it. Yeah. I'm gonna put a sock on there too. Uh, yeah, we'll just use yours. Yeah. Can we just smaller? Oh. And this chair, cha. I'm going to chair to my. Oh, it's a hard one, huh? And this chair to my. Wow, it's heavy. What? Wow, this one heavier. Let's get the chin Man, I thought I could get a flip flop on this one. Can I get a flip flop on this one? Uh, yeah, I, it should be split toe. I thought I got the split toe. A little, a little, a little bit split. Yeah, it's it. Basically, the reason why it's it's tight like that is uh, so if you wear like a. a what are they called? The thong flip flops? Uh, uh, it doesn't pop out. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, let's see if you can do it. These feet do run slightly larger, so you might feel a little bit more tightness, but we know it works because we've been doing it. Perfect. Okay. Picture your leg. Did he tell you he walked outside last time? <laughs> yeah, I told him. Yeah. Well, clearly, if you're sore. Yeah. <laughs> so, and sorry it took so long to get in here. That last okay. appointment kind of ran over. Yeah. When I pick it up, this one heavier than this one. Really? It might be the... This foot is heavier. Yeah. Um, but hopefully the, yeah. the control is better. Yeah. Hmm. It does feel a little touch heavier. Oh, right. That's probably important. Um, now, the only thing that we'll probably have to continue doing is that little fabric I had okay. right here. So it doesn't yeah. pop when you walk. Okay. Oh, we'll probably put one of those on. Okay. Well, you put lotion on this. <laughs> Make me slip. That's not hard for me. Let me go get a uh, a little piece of cloth for it.
Just FYI, if you, yeah, take that out. If you ever look online, you might see that some people would say to use a spray. With yours, you don't have to use the spray. Spray? Yeah. Basically, it's a, a acts as a lubricant to get in easier, but you wouldn't need that because you're, um, Ooh, it hurt. It hurt. What is that? Don't tell me it hurt. We had it perfect. Are you settled in all the way? Here. Yep. Where's it hurt at? Down here on the side on the bowl. Oh, yeah. like the bowl. Does it feel like it's loose? Yeah, it's feel really loose. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did yeah. you, you shrunk again? <laughs> yeah, 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 I feel loose. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's why we got socks. All right. Um, yeah, it's hurting. It's hurting. All right. Let's let's take it off. Um, leave the liner on, obviously. Yeah, just take that off. I tightened it up. Yeah, right here. Right here. Yes, on the food as well. Yeah. Right here. yeah, you might just be dropping on it. I did tighten it up a little bit from last time um, since we talked about that. But uh, yeah. all right, let me. Yeah, um... yeah, right here. Right here. Okay. Yeah. But like drop all the way in. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like it's got the dip where we need it. All right, let me get a, uh, a small saw. Okay. Oh, I need to put a new Turn the clang I need to turn the comb with That's all. So uh, I, gave, I gave you a few different kinds of socks. Okay. Um, these are the short ones, like I said, that should fit underneath. So we have ones that are longer, ones that are shorter. Mm -hmm. The short, short ones only come up to about right there. Okay. But we'll try a slightly longer one right now.